Today we shall be looking at the topic properties of materials, specifically properties of wood. Wood is one of the technological materials used in the production of technological products. Wood is an organic, fibrous, and porous plant tissue that is found in the stems, branches, and roots of trees. Wood is majorly composed of organic compounds including cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. There are two major types of wood. These are softwood and hardwood. Softwood are the soft types of wood. They are soft in nature and they are easily worked with. They are easily sawn compared to hardwood. They are easily nailed. They are easily fabricated and they are fantastic to work with. That is why they are mainly used for a lot of DIY projects, that is do-it-yourself projects because of their softness. Examples of trees from which soft roots are gotten include cedar, douglas fir, juniper, pine, redwood, yew, and spruce. These trees are mostly common in the northern hemisphere, that is, the colder regions of the world. These trees are typical of trees that grow with a conical shape. They are usually referred to as coniferous trees or simply as conifers. The picture shows a typical coniferous tree. You can see the picture there. That is the shape of the Christmas tree. All trees that have this kind of shape all are sources of softwood and they are mostly found in the colder regions of the world, except, of, of course, they can also be found in some other regions of the world, but they are mostly found or mostly common in the northern hemisphere. Hardwood are relatively hard types of wood. Compared to softwood, they are harder and they can be found in different parts of the world. West Africa is blessed with different varieties of hardwood trees. And examples of Hardwood trees in West Africa include the famous Iroko tree, Maogani, Teak, Aphromosia, Blackwood, Bubinga, Walnut, and Ebony. Properties of wood The following are characteristics or properties of wood. Wood is relatively light in weight. Compared to metals or ceramics, wood is lighter. Wood floats in water. And that is why it is the number one choice for making canoes, boats, ships, or any object that is meant for to float on water. Any object that is meant to float on water, wood is the first choice material for such uh, objects. Wood is long lasting, wood is properly treated or painted. Even the soft wood that are usually attacked by insects when they are well treated with chemicals and paint finishes this wood lasts longer than expected 
Wood is easier to work with than metals and ceramics. Wood can easily be cut or sewn. It can be nailed together. It can be. It is fantastic working with wood. And that is why a lot of fabrications, even at grassroots levels, are mostly made from wood. Doors, windows, name it. Varieties of furniture. They are all made from wood because it's very easy to work with. Wood can be used for many different things, as we know and as we have seen in our environment. Wood is found everywhere in the world. It is found worldwide. Lastly, wood is a renewable energy source. That is, it is a source of energy for cooking, that is for making fire, for cooking, or for warming up the house, especially in those cold regions of the world, where they depend on heat to warm up themselves during winter. Wood is the number one choice for material. So, it is a source of energy, and it is described as, as renewable because it is constant in supply, and there has never been a time, or there will never be a time, or any situation where we say food is exhausted. It is not exhausted, cannot be exhausted. That is why it is described as a renewable energy source. Properties of hardwood. Hardwoods come from dicot angiosperms. Angiosperms are flowering and seed producing trees or plants. So all trees that are flowering plants that produce flowers and fruits and are also not monocot, that is, they have branches. Example of angiosperms that are monocot are the coconut tree. The palm trees, these trees usually don't have branches. But for those trees that produce flowers and fruits and have branches, these are, those are dicot angiosperms. So all dicot angiosperms are sources of hardwood. Hardwood are usually referred to as wood after being felled. That is, any of these dicot angiosperms Whenever it has been felled or cut down, it is referred to as wood. Hardwood are long lasting. They last a long time because of their hardness. So they are usually used in constructions where strength is required. They are of higher density than softwood, meaning they are heavier when compared to softwood because they contain more matter compared to softwood and that's why they are denser and heavier. They are from deciduous trees. Deciduous trees are trees that share their leaves during unfavorable weather conditions like during winter or during drought. Usually in the Amatan or the dry season, we see some trees shedding their leaves. So any tree that sheds its leaves is a, so, uh, is a hardwood source or is a source of hardwood. So hardwood are typically gotten from deciduous trees. They grow slower than hard softwoods. It takes a very long time for hardwood trees to reach maturity. We have seen trees, local trees that are about 200 years old, those that are 100 years old and plus. So it takes a longer time for hardwood trees to grow. Hardwood are darker in color, in texture. That is, in appearance, they appear to be of darker colors compared to softwood. Hardwood are more expensive. Yes, 
they are more expensive there than soft food because of their value they are used in high quality constructions and furnitures that's why they are more expensive when compared to soft wood how do are more fire resistant yes how do resist fire that is why in the grassland ecosystem or habitats where there are actually uh, wildfire how do trees usually survive hard um, wildfire and continue to grow after the fire assist so they are more fire resistant when compared to soft wood trees how do I use in high quality furniture and in constructions that need to last a very long time that's why they are used in the construction of deck in ships even the body of ship wooden ship used in the olden days that of canals today are constructed with hardwood a lot of trusses of buildings are constructed with hardwood with ribbon all these are characteristic of features of or properties of hardwood now let's look at the properties of softwood the properties of softwood or characteristics of softwood are just the opposite of the, those of hardwood. The softwood come from genospermes. Genosperm trees are trees that do not bear flowers. They bear naked fruits. They don't bear flowers before they bear fruits. So all angiosperms all genus palm trees are typically sources of softwood like the conifer trees we earlier mentioned all these produce naked fruits and they are genus palm. so all genus palm trees are sources of softwood softwood are usually referred to as timber after being felled unlike hardwood that are adult trees that are referred to as wood when they are being felled. Soft wood trees, immediately they are felled, they are referred to as timber. Soft wood need to be regularly treated to last long. They don't last long like hardwood, so they need a lot of treatment with chemicals and some other finishes that will make them to be resistant to insect attack and weather attack. So soft woods are of lower density compared to hardwood. That's why they are lighter in weight. Soft woods are from evergreen trees. Unlike hardwood that are gotten from deciduous trees that share their leaves, hardwood soft woods are gotten from trees that are evergreen irrespective of the weather they are always having green leaves so they don't share their leaves they are not deciduous trees so soft trees are got it from evergreen trees soft trees grow quicker than hardwood that is why it is possible to have a farm where soft trees are grown for commercial purpose most hardwoods are found growing in the jungle in forest reserves but soft wood can be grown as a business because they grow faster within few years they have grown to maturity unlike hardwoods soft wood are lighter in color than hardwoods also soft wood are cheaper compared to hardwood soft wood are less fire resistant they can easily be attacked by fire or wide fire so Lastly, soft wood are used for making paper, fireball, 